when I first started to work on contaminants, the focus at that time, to a very large extent, was cadmium in agricultural soils. Cadmium is unique in the sense that every farmer who would have applied triple superphosphate or phosphate fertilizer would have loaded the agricultural soil with cadmium because cadmium comes from the phosphate rock that people have been using to prepare or synthesize fertilizer phosphorus. So all over the world, irrespective which country you go to, you will have trace to low levels of cadmium, but plants bioaccumulate. Now we um, initiated risk-based approach to managing and remediating uh, contaminants in Australia. So if we simply look at, for instance, cadmium in agricultural soils, we do not remove cadmium from the soils. What we do is we assess the risk that cadmium poses uh, to both um, soil health as well as to plant bioaccumulation, and we convert the form of cadmium that's posing risk into a form where it's no longer posing risk. And this, for example, we do by adding lime. Lime converts uh, soil into a form where it locks cadmium. With agriculture, um, irrespective which country you go to, um, you have the same problem yeah. of cadmium. I, I do believe pro progress has been, is, is being made here, though the progress, if you look at the slope of the line with progress, it is not what it should be, I think. And the reason I think it's not what it should be is because we really haven't placed much attention to environmental contamination as an issue. On the one hand, we have to look at uh, food security. Uh, food security means enhanced productivity. Enhanced productivity means that uh, the, the farm management practices that you have is sustainable and helps you deliver that, which essentially means that we can't walk away from pesticides. And therefore, the challenge that we have is to come up with that form of pesticide which we use that is able to get rid of weeds, for instance, but does not stay in the environment longer than it, sh it, it should.